What is good? We're deep. We're I'm back. Good. Tried to get a, a hardcore growl in there. It didn't work. Throw, Greg here. Throw us a little drink. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> we talked about a little startup ADP. Called it moves to make for your pleasure. Talked about it. Called it moves to make. <laughs> <laughs> here we got a little buy low action uh, through this draft. of It's two drafts averaged together. Superflex tight end premium. They've been over the last two weeks-ish, depending on when you're hearing this. Um, we're going to go over kind of some of the younger or some of the uh, higher draft picks, but get a little bit more into the uh, back half of the draft where, you know, six round or later where we didn't really get too much into the weeds just yet on who was where and talk about maybe some good values moving forward. So uh, off the rip, we talked about Patrick Mahomes in the last show. I think Patrick Mahomes is a buy low. You got the windows open. You can get in there. First right? time the window's been open. Snatch right. that beautiful butterfly. Get Even in there. Even if it's not a huge discount. Get in there, grab them, and uh, see what happens. You, I think you'll be all right. Next one on the list. I'm not going in any sort of order here of how they're laid out in ADP, but let's talk about Bryce Young here for a second. Oh, I was, thought, I was hoping you would go CJ Stroud because he's right next to Patrick. We just talked about CJ Stroud in the last. I know a lot of those guys <laughs> yeah. could have been on the show. Bryce Young. All right. He's coming in at 902. Yeah, where is he? You got to scroll. But played a really good really good game <laughs> against one of the hardest defenses to play against mm-hmm. in the league, right? Chiefs comes in at home. Just feels like he's starting to get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Right? Having fun. Just Some people say Take it, it to Gerald's, baby. Just having fun. There's that's a local <laughs> Shout out to Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> there's a 1 minute and 30 second highlight package of all the Bryce Young throws and from yesterday against the Chiefs, and some people saying this is some of the best quarterback play of the season from any quarterback, not mm-hmm. just Bryce Young. Who's seen it? So I will say, mm-hmm. my personal <laughs> opinion, what maybe kind of might have happened was the Chiefs lost. What happened? The Chiefs finally <laughs> lost the game, and they're like, all right, well, we don't have to be undefeated anymore. We're going to Carolina. We're two touchdown favorites. Where are you going to Carolina? Huh? Where are you going to Carolina? In my mind. Oh, there we go. So, okay. So. In his mind. <laughs> Maybe you don't know that one. Don't I'm know. a brunette. Yeah, of course I know, but I wasn't <laughs> thinking about it. Like, I was in my mind. I'm thinking about the uh, story I'm trying to tell over here. Why Bryce Young looked really good for he the Carolina good. Panthers. He did Casey, look good. Not hit me with it. I hit think me. the Chiefs were taking a week off. Hmm. Defensively, I mean, the defensive defense been carrying the guys all season long. Again, so going back for a year and a half now, all the way through the playoffs, defense been carrying them. They're undefeated. They're nine and zero or whatever. Going into last week against the Bills, and this the the three peat magic. They finally lose a game, and they're like, "All right, that's great. We don't have mm-hmm. to be undefeated anymore. Now we just got to get into postseason healthy and go win our they third, really, does, third does Lombardi. Does that not want to be undefeated? Does that? Well, it's, well, just, it's, it's, a, pressure. Pressure. It's, it's a pressure. Thing. Yeah, I know. Because you, you got to show up, dude. That's why people don't go. They don't go undefeated in NFL because there's the parity. Just get that off your back. You just get it. Just get off your back. Get it off your. Doesn't matter. They don't have to go undefeated. Well, don't wait anymore. to the last game, Tom Brady. Yeah. So, does so in that scenario, but does the quality of the throws he was making matter if the defense, like ball placement, accuracy, it, I does mean, it matter if they're taking no, the they day off? They took a week off, Casey. Just, no, no, no. I, and the, I, I, don't, I don't think still I think there's the a ton well. of I think there's a ton of merit to what you're saying. Yeah. Like you, you come off a loss, you're going to Carolina, you're like we're fucking good. We're we'll do be I fine. think if that was a Super Bowl, they would have mauled him and buried him in the dirt in the backfield a couple times? Yes, but he still made good throws, mm-hmm. and I can't take that away from. I'm just I'm trying to like come on guys. Like, so does so does that all of a sudden is, he had the best best game? Well, I mean that's a bit that's a bit of that, hyperbole, you know? I believe. But I'm not sitting over here with take lock. He's, sure, he's looked better the le- since he came back from the bench. Any interest in buying low? Yeah. Whoa. I had interest in buying low coming into the season. It just wasn't going to be on startup. Mm-hmm. I wasn't that. I wasn't buying him in the sixth round in the startup. What definitely wasn't buying him in the second round of a startup, and it wasn't buying him in the sixth round this year. And now you're in the nine two area. I'm looking for players right here. I'd rather have over him. But yes, I could. I mean, buying uh, like your buy a low window could still be very open because somebody that thought they had nothing two well, that's, weeks ago. That's my thought right now is that somebody's excited to be like, hey, I could get a third for this guy right now. 
I'd give you a third for him right a now. Third. I, I think you can't third's too third. cheap. Somebody, yeah. somebody hates Bryce Young mm-hmm. so much and has been told over and over Second. again that he stinks. Mm-hmm. And that they might be excited to just get a third because they're like, he's alive. I, I can get it. I thought this was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they could have got a third patience. for dead Bryce Young. I think third still too cheap. I yeah. don't think you're getting him for a third after this past week and everybody's love. I think that would be a second. If you maybe two threes, maybe two, two threes. threes. I'd still, I'd probably give you two threes in a super flex for Bryce. Young. Would you give a two? No. Late two? Maybe. You know what's going on? My if I do have good quarterbacks everywhere, I don't know. Shout out to Doug. We had this conversation last night on the. Uh, he said he'd give the lay too. Yeah, I mean, it's All a right. quarterback. Jalen Waddle obviously had a big game. I just like the value of him here. We've been talking about him a little bit. He was five twelve, maybe five twelve C C C. Obviously, that's a great performance, and that reminds you of what he could be. And and you know, you probably don't want to buy him after a great performance. But are you? Any part of you out out, or is this? Are you still? Yeah, you know, we cool back down for a week or two. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't think if you are a true football fan, you should be out out on Jalen Waddle mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the Dolphins haven't done him any favors lately, but I don't know. I feel like he, I feel like he's still a very very solid buy for my dynasty team. What would you pay for him first? I shouldn't have to. What's the max him. price you would pay though? Uh, two twos. I, I give you a two three four. A two three four dump in the draft class. The old draft class dump looks good in the inbox. Looks. Good. I really want some. Yeah, not a one. <laughs> I mean, he's pro- I mean, he's definitely he's worth a late first. There's a lot of ones. He is. That, a couple you know, of worth a late first. But here's the thing: I got you got Brian Thomas at a two one last year. I mean, there's there's player. If you get that draft pick right, there's players that are going to be more valuable than Jalen Waddle this year as a rookie. But if you get it wrong, or maybe Tyreek's gone and Waddle's just uh, Tyreek ain't going nowhere, bro. He just got paid again and he's got mouths to feed, bro. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he's it, not going to quit playing football, but well, he ain't going to just be bad either. They could trade him. Maybe he wants out. Maybe he wants out. Maybe he wants to go play with somebody else. Let's talk Jordan Addison for a second again. Mostly just because he had another good game. He's had some sequential good weeks here. Three TDs, I think, yeah, over got, the last three weeks. He got the nod from Big Co three weeks ago, and then he started going off. What's your buying point for Jordan Addison right now? Obviously, again, you don't want to buy him after this week, just like Jalen Waddle. We just had a huge blow-up week and looked excellent doing yeah, so. Yeah, obviously, you just wait until Hawkinson and, and – uh, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson have a million points and Addison goes back to not doing much. Would you still give a first for Addison? I don't think you have to. I don't think you. I, I, I wouldn't want to. Not after what's. I mean, that's not going to be my leading offer. But like, would you? Not. Would that be? Is he? He's is worth, he worth it. Yeah. He's worth a first. He's worth a. He's worth a late first. I don't think he's worth more than a, than a late first. But ten to twelve. Yeah, I wouldn't want. To, I still wouldn't want to give it to him. I, I, yeah, right, right, right. I got you. I mean, I came what, in here three weeks ago when nobody. Wa- I came in here three weeks ago when nobody wanted him, and I'm I like, think you Jordan Addison is a great buy. Easily got him for a straight up two. Exactly three weeks. A ago. couple, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, all right, well, three weeks. What has happened? Yeah, Sam Darnold's like, all right, let me not throw in a triple coverage with Justin Jefferson over there. Let me hit this guy. Yeah. So I feel like just give it a couple more weeks. It'll cool back down, and maybe you can get him for a two and a three. I'm not trying to give you a first for this. All right. So th- that's not a move to do right now, but soon. Yeah, Moves this is a move to make right now. This is Moves buy low or just give it But point. not buy low now. Oh, well. Because I mean, he just had a good game. Yeah, well, I, we, we preface with that. Well, it's, hey, buy low. But remember, I told you to buy low three weeks ago. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. How about Josh Downs? Yeah. Well, here we go. It's playing out. Now he's hurt. Anthony Richardson hits him beautifully a couple times. And then he misses him a couple times, and he had he dove and almost had a touchdown last week. I think or he, yesterday. he probably had three for sixty called back. Josh Downs, yeah, he got some stuff called back. <laughs> yeah. had, but and um, you you gotta love the way Josh Downs is diving for these footballs to catch him for Anthony Richardson. Yeah, like it's almost he's like obviously he wants to catch the ball, but he's trying to it's like helping his trying to help his boy out. Like I'm I would I'm trying to. Well, that's where you have to go to catch balls from Anthony Richardson c- coming in at seven oh eight. Or sometimes they hit you right here, Jay. I'm just they hit you right here, he, dude. I'm him and him and Pittman back to back. First of all, Pittman buy low right now. Yeah, Pittman's reminding you right this minute over the last couple of games being hurt mm-hmm. that he's still very very good and the bottom has fallen out a little bit. Pittman's a buy low. Pittman's Josh great, Downs man. right above him here at seven oh eight. What's the? I mean, same that late first for yeah. for Downs. Yeah, 
he's in that area, you'd, yeah. you'd for sure give up two twos for downs at this point, Easy. right? Yep. All right. Bucky, Ir- oh yeah, there, there, there it is again. Bucky Ivory. Ah. Bucky or Josh Downs? Yeah. Give me Bucky. Ah. I don't Josh mind Downs it. or Mooney in a two? Josh Downs. I don't Kylie mind taking downs. Bucky every down. But I don't mind taking Bucky every downs because again, <laughs> Josh Downs wide receiver thirty three. Yeah, there's just a million of them. All right, how about Xavier Leggett? Where are you mm-hmm. falling on that? Obviously, we've been we just talked about a little Bryce Love, looking looking like he's popping off some good throws, looking comfortable. The offensive line didn't look terrible, hasn't looked god awful, and now they're getting these young wide receivers getting run. I don't think I think Leggett feels looks the part to me i got a whole lot of mid-second round xavier leggett so i don't really want to pay too much more than that for him right in a second i got a ton of rookie xavier leggett but you would pay a two for leggett all yeah. day long again mm-hmm. now i wouldn't want to give the two on my really terrible team i don't want to give two one for him mm-hmm. May, and hopefully i'm very wrong about that but it just rookie season comes back around rookie season is undefeated bro yeah. oh, it sure. gets it's it's so it's so crazy so next year Unless Leggett has a ridiculous close to the season, he hasn't done enough. When you're on the draft, when you're on the draft board next, if you're at two one, you can get Leggett and plus plus for that pick. Mm-hmm. Most likely, we'll see. You know, Most likely, people and are he, already he, hating on this class for no reason. Like yep. they know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my wife's up there I, with one of them hot muffs. Like she knows what like the fuck's going on. I fucking true her off. <laughs> Shout out to the Jerky Boys. Little little roofing uh, skit there. So for your out pleasure. To everyone way more confident in themselves and what they think than they should be. You know. <laughs> yeah. I wish that was me. So Xavier Leggett was coming in at eight twelve. Uh, Xavier Leggett or Ricky Pearsall? I Pearsall. Want, I want the answer to be Leggett. Give me the, Xavier. It se- yeah, it seems like it's Leggett, but Pearsall could Keon have, or, or Leggett. There could be lots of openings for the Niners all of a sudden. Not that there's not plenty of openings for the Panthers, but it's, you know, give me Kyle versus the Panthers. Keon Coleman or, or Leggett? I'm going to stick with Keon with Josh Allen. That okay. boy start. Where's hey, Keon? Keon on? was coming Seven, on. Six. Keon was coming on strong, and then he landed all. They, they replayed that landing on his wrist a couple times, and I was mm-hmm. like, he ain't playing next week. And sure enough, he's been out a couple weeks. Shakir or Leggett? Leggett. Okay, pretty confident in that one. Do you not like Shakir? I don't have a problem with Getty. Just, I mean, with Shakir, I don't think, uh, I don't think he's. So yes, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm more confident in Leggett than I think Shakir is very replaceable. Mm. I love. I, I love. Love. I love Shakir. Love, love Shakir. Oh, been saying it for weeks. Been saying I it like since Shakir. like week three. I like Shakir. Like I, I don't know that you said love. I love Shakir. I don't. I'm not like going to the moon to buy. Like I'll, right. I'll give you a two all day for Shakir. I don't even care. I don't even care. I, I think you're care. wrong on. I think. I think the. I think the Bills are sitting here going, I can't believe we came into the season with this as our. He, I don't care what, well, like records. he, though, sure, he does, he shouldn't have been the guy you had to lean on, but like, I don't know what, I don't know if Keon's going to be good or not, but that doesn't mean Shakir can't exist Agreed. with, with Allen on a big, and he already is. He's, yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's doing work. He's been, he's been just solid. And sometimes it's all right to just know you're taking a second and getting a solid player. I get it, shooting for the moon. It's not something that I'm going to go out there and just, shoot everywhere but i'm just saying like I'm, I'm, <laughs> ah, ski, ski, ski. you know i'm i'm just i'm confident in game the to game starts with to with wall. um shakir shakir you know obviously i don't want him to be my wide receiver too mm-hmm. but my flex play my wide receiver three play you know i he's, he's, he's a, getting better he's a great player to build that kind of position Got a little around, juice i feel like a little rapport I think he's a solid player to add for cheap this year to help. He can't he's add gonna, him for cheap though. He's gonna be he's gonna get some oh yeah, he can. For he's what's gonna get cheap. some he's gonna get some targets, continue to get targets through the rest of the season at least. Two and, thirds and ain't getting you. it done. Three thirds? Three thirds. <laughs> Two threes and a four? There's somebody out there in your league that has Shakir and they're out of the playoffs and they're like, yeah, I'll take I'll take I a mean I'll, I'll three me, a three all day. A, a two three a, swap would be fine with a me. A three and a four. A three and a four for Shakir is going to get it done unless that person's in like the top five of the of the rankings. Yeah, and I, you know, there's all the leagues are different, and, and yeah, shit's all over the place. Yeah, it's terrible. Shakir um, in a first for AJ Brown, like, how's that happen? Shakir for a two, Mark Andrews, Shakir for Isaiah Likely. 
How do we feel at this point about Jacoby Myers? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, obviously, their quarterback, to Gardner Minshew, just got hurt. Yeah, he did. Broken collarbone out for the year. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know. He ain't coming back. Desmond Ritter comes in, probably going to be a bit of a bummer. <laughs> yeah. I can't is, win with an ugly quarterback. Is AFC out, out. Is he, he, has he got an injury too? You can't win with an ugly quarterback. Just, it's harder. <laughs> it's harder. Roethlisberger, Doogie Burger is like the f- only one. Um, the ugliest quarterback to win a Super Bowl for sure. I don't Burger. know. There's probably some ugly ones back in the day um, that I don't know <laughs> Hit about. Hit us in the comment section. Who are we talking about? Ugliest quarterbacks? To win no. Super Jacoby Super Myers. <laughs> Stud. What's your what's the price tag on Jacoby Myers for you? Where's he at on the list here? We're obviously for fifty eight, pick twelve oh eight. Steal, steal, getting no love, which is exactly exactly what I said. What's going to happen? He's still out there crushing, and nobody cares, Bo. Doesn't matter. He's scoring nobody you points. That's, cares. that's the point of taking a guy in the twelfth round. <laughs> All he does is fuck on my fucking lineup and yeah, win I don't goddamn care what weeks. Other fucking people think yeah. I want points. Still hasn't moved up one slot. I, that's it. Doesn't matter. I don't. I'm not. I'm it not, doesn't matter how many slots he's. I'm not drafting up. Jacoby Myers. I'm drafting Jalen Polk down there, and then I'm mixing in fucking Jacoby Myers to offset that pick that I just made, so I know I can start a guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's, just he's a old reliable plus some juice. I, you know, I don't know how the rest of the season is going to go. Well, they ain't got nobody else to throw to. The rest of the season, they traded Devontae right. Adams. The rest of the season is going to go great. You should go pick him up for well, a three. I, you know, I don't, we don't know who's, how the quarterback play is going to go for the rest of the season. Okay. Okay. How about J.K. Dobbins? What are you paying for J.K. Dobbins right now? Buy low? Sell high. He's at, he's at 11.07 here. I saw a two for him straight up. I thought it was a fair deal. I, I'm, uh, I'd have to go back and check out that Chargers schedule. If I need, you know, I'm not trading for a guy I can't use, and I'm definitely not buying trade J.K. Dobbins for the future. Cortland Sutton hadn't moved either, but to sit here and say that you don't want Cortland Sutton playing on your team is asinine. Cortland Sutton should have moved. He didn't. I think he didn't move. <laughs> he's 29. Everyone hates him. How do you? Well, what's the buy low on Sutton for the rest of the season to try to help you win? Or are you not interested in that? Yeah, he was a guy I said you should buy three weeks ago, and he's. What would you pay for him? I don't, I don't know what I said before. I mean, I think I might have said a two. Two? Okay. I mean, right. he's only gone out and scored a touchdown and put up 15 points or more in every week since we had that conversation. It was the rebuild show and the title contender show. So, I, you know, yeah, no. I, I, there's some rookies that I'd, I'd, buy, I'd buy low on Polk. I'd buy low on Baker. Baker was like the last pick in this ADP, I think. If you're a contender, I'm, I'm down to spend the two for Cortland. But you, could, I see a lot of people, like, tearing up with Cortland. It might be a good time, depending on your team, to – to get rid of them too. Oh, mm-hmm. sure. I mean, that's a given. You got an old guy scoring a bunch of points. <laughs> like if you got a bad team, easy. Get rid of trade them. up and, and try to tear up. But you know, this is we're trying to buy low, so we're trying to figure out what the yeah. price is this to slide in. There. Polk was fourteen five. Baker was like in the fifteenth round. Two we talked about May in the last show. It's two New England wide receivers. Baker yeah. hasn't been getting much of a chance. Polk's just had the drops. He can get open. We've seen it. So they're kind of connected to a guy that we feel like is moving forward. They're cheap. I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, that this is how it works. This is exactly what you need to do. You could go out and get one or two of those guys for super, super cheap and put them on your bench and wait because Drake May is a thing. And you, right now you have to pay. You could pay. You could get Polk a lot cheaper than you could get him in the rookie draft. You know, probably same thing for Baker, but he was always really cheap. Jalen Polk, now the right person in your league might have him, and he's no chance he's trading him. That's fine. Casey's not trading him away for super cheap off his team. He's over here telling you to buy him, and he's got some Polk already. So that's, you know, depends on what the mindset is. But grabbing Polk and or Baker right now for super cheap is a really good idea because Baker's probably – Baker is a – get him in a throw-in of a deal. You go out and find – and probably Polk too, depending on what the deal would be. Go out and find a team that has those types of players – and then find a, a two guys that you can swap, and those guys are you know you just throw them on the bottom of that trade and sneak them in. We've we've talked about Ben Sinnott on a couple shows before. I'm going to throw him back in here again. He went 11:09. I just Ertz is looking good. Obviously, we don't know if he'll be anywhere near Ertz, but it's a target on the Commanders here. See how the Commanders finish the season. Obviously, a couple of 
three losses in a row. Games got away from you. Two games to against really good teams, and then you know you blow it against the Cowboys. But like I was saying, I was telling Casey the other day when I couldn't make it in here about two weeks ago or so, like Ertz is getting targets, and we don't know if Cliff Kingsbury is going to be there next year. If they would have kept going on their seven and two pace, Kingsbury would have either gotten a raise or you know gotten a head, head coach. coaching job somewhere yeah. else. But like what a mistake that'll be if somebody does that. No doubt. <laughs> but but the point is the current offensive coordinator likes to throw to the tight end and the quarterback's doing what it is is doing it as well and Ertz is like my age, very old. So <laughs> Ben Sennett is there and this is a great buy low opportunity because you haven't heard his name since week one. That's all that's what you need to be doing. Like Jalen Polk and Don Baker hadn't even been active most weeks. Ben Sennett, his name has been nowhere to be seen, and that's a great time to go pick up a tight end in the system with a quarterback that both the system and the quarterback w- is okay throwing it towards a tight end. And, yeah. I mean, if they – the one one time in the last six weeks that he caught a pass, I mean, he, it's not even close to juice between him and Ertz. I understand that Ertz knows where to be yeah. on the football field. Sure. But if Sennett catches the ball, he's rolling. Yeah, and I got Goddard's right next to him here at 111. I mean, or to, uh, 11 11, rather, sorry. Like, Goddard's still good out there, man. Like, it's, oh, it's Goddard, just, you get into this, this, this 12th ish round and Goddard's still sitting there. You need a tight end. Grab, you know, yeah. you, can, you need to get some other guys, but man, Goddard can give you tight end one week's. Well, the problem with Goddard right now is Saquon. Just well, sure. I mean, it just, you know, um, you know, d- dominate. But it, still, I don't even care. Like, that's what you're, he's so mm-hmm. cheap at this point. I, yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. You know, some of the other rookies. Uh, Jalen Wright is tw- at the twelfth round. M- Mostert's not long over there. They're kind of running the offense a little different. You're seeing Achan really do his thing. God forbid Achan gets hurt or th- they get Mostert into uh, out of here, and mm-hmm. and Wright's taken over a little bit more. We've seen some explosiveness already from Wright. We already know he's a really explosive player. It's a good fit. You can get Jalen Wright way cheaper now than you could right. two months ago. Marshawn Lloyd, another rookie. You know, sitting over there with the Green Bay Packers hadn't hasn't played. Him, hadn't had heard sniffed, from so him. Just like to bring those guys back up and and say, hey, you could probably go buy those guys, especially with rookie fever mm-hmm. around the corner. It's not fun to acquire last year's rookies, but you know, those guys had juice Would and paid they're, off. they're not in terrible situations. Would have paid off big time to buy Tank Bigsby super cheap. Mm-hmm. Post buy. Um, all right, I got a couple more, and we'll get out of here. Jerry Judy, mm. interested or not really? Uh, I mean, if they if you're telling me that. Uh, Jameis Winston's the quarterback next year. You got to be interested. What if Sam Darnold's the quarterback next year? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, Jerry Judy's had a nice three or four game mm-hmm. stretch here. So it's hard to say you got to wait for him to cool down because Jameis is obviously the starting quarterback for the rest of the year and he may not cool down. So I, it, you know, it's hard to, but he's been, but he's come back from the dead. So Jerry Judy's one of those guys that somebody's probably sell you pretty cheap still because he was basically gone to zero. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. Was was a little bit. Of, I don't. Nec- I don't know that I'm buying. I, I. I'm. Seems like you should wiggle out of the cell window if you could here with him. I'm fine with that. Uh, but I wouldn't regret it. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm also not going to get I, on teams that I have. I'm just hanging on. I don't even like. I'm not personally doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm. Just, I'm like, hey, there's there's there was a good player in there. Mm-hmm. If he could just tighten up and fly right, we've yeah. seen him kind of break. You know, be all right here. You're holding sure. Judy for um, the two. Elijah Moore, I think, is a is a free agent this coming year. Whether they bring him back or not, probably not. They got a lot of money that they got to figure out what to do with. True. <laughs> they signed Jerry Judy. Tillman's there. They got Thrash waiting in the wings here. See if he can do anything. They got Joku. You know, Judy could. I, I would if you're going to give me a two for Judy, I would take it. Me too. How about Quentin Johnston? Little resurgence here. Herbert's playing well. You buy in for a two there. Yeah. Buying in for the two? Yeah, I'll give you a two for Quentin Johnson. Mm, all right. Where not, is he? I'm not giving my two one. <laughs> giving my two one. I'm not giving my FFPC. I'm missing the playoffs two. Mm-hmm. You know, I, trade deadline for FFPC was yesterday, so that doesn't quite hit home like it should. But if I have, you know, if I'm missing in that type of environment, if I'm missing the playoffs, most likely, if I'm on the verge, if I'm if this week I'm in the playoffs, next week I'm out the playoffs, and I'm flip flopping with another guy or two. And it's not a guarantee that I'm making the playoffs and we'll be in the back half of the rookie draft instead of in the front half and maybe get, you know, work my way in the two, two, three range. I'm not giving up that type of pick. But if I'm like definitely in the playoffs and that's a late two, I'll give it to you for QJ. All right. I mean, I like I kind of mind what we're seeing from QJ. Nice little resurgence here Mm -hmm. Can have a nice roll down the down the stretch. 
Uh, Travis Etienne is a screaming buy for me. This is a good player. We've seen be really good. 607 here. Obviously, the Jags stink. I don't know what's going to hold for him next season. If they change coaching staff so you could see him get traded, I think that would be great for him. I think this is a really good player, and I think people are there's so many people who are just ready to jump off that wagon that some twos and some other change could potentially yeah, I, get people going on, on getting rid of ETN. For that type of price, I think you should be buying. I think you should. I mean, the Jags are out of control going down the hill. You know, from one week they look like they're kind of straightening it back up and then totally not. So I think it could get a little cheaper. But, you know, all it takes, even though – everything's going wrong all it takes is for him to catch a swing pass and take it 60 yards and now he's a little bit more expensive you know so if you buy him in the Go next Tigers. week or two maybe it gets a little cheaper but maybe it doesn't mm. you know yeah tony pollard still crushing and Crush, and man. and maybe not getting if he's on your team maybe you know you obviously know it but there could be somebody who's slumping going the other direction i think pollard's playing just really well right now Lights out. he's been great most of the season Oh, it's been incredible. Uh, could be could be helpful for a contender down the stretch. I just want to end with talking about Sam Darnold here. Been on a bit of a up and down, like people were, oh, look at Sam to uh, four, Sam. And four then, and oh, Sam. And they're still winning. <laughs> they're, they've lost two games. Yeah. Uh, he's played mostly pretty well. Like he hasn't, this is essentially like a new rookie year for him, right? Mm -hmm. he has, he's never played in a situation like this. Phoenix. He's. He's playing pretty well. He's playing maybe through some stuff. I thought he was through some excellent balls in this in this past week against the Bears. For sure. Is he the is he the Vikings quarterback next year? I don't know. Obviously, homeboy just had another surgery, so maybe you get, he gets one more year there with KOC. If not, there's going to be Raiders are going to whoever misses that quarterback. Raiders, Browns. And then Tennessee, there'll be a potentially go there when that happens if you want to get out and he's not the Vikings quarterback anywhere. There'll yeah. still be another he's starting window. for somebody next year. Yeah. Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it on the on the pleasure town. Saints. The only place I'm not going, either one of the New York teams. Right. I will take less to go anywhere but those fucking two places. True. I'm good. I don't want your media. I don't want your coverage. I'm good. Y'all fuck me up. I'm <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm chilling. Yeah. Jets and the Giants both looking for quarterbacks. Yeah. And that that wasn't even like you said three or four teams and you didn't even get to those guys yet. Would you say what I pay for Darnold? Yeah. He's in the eleventh round right here. After that after last week is probably after yesterday. Love drafting him there, by the way. Oh, for sure. Why would you not? I, One of my favorite draft picks right now is Sammy D. I got on all the startups I did last year, I got all Sammy D because he was a backup for the Niners and I was mm -hmm. like, and we didn't know if Purdy was going to be able to play. So all my startups last year had Sammy D. So he was free this year for me. So that was nice. Uh, we're talking about 16th, 17th, 18th round. Sammy sure. D, two years sure. Ago. Pay two right Eight. now? Yes. Yes. What's the max price? Two twos? If I got a good team and I just lost a quarterback, you know, that happens. Uh, you know, Anthony Richard got benched a couple weeks ago. I felt like I lost a quarterback. Danny Dobbs just got benched. On, if you lost a quarterback, if, uh, who's who's been hurt recently? You know, Trevor Dak. Trevor the Dak went down. That's a great. Derek Carr's been out. I'd give you two twos if I had a championship team. If I was going to if it was steamrolling towards the playoffs and all of a sudden Dak got hurt and I didn't have a quarterback anymore. I know. I'm, I'm trying to give you a two three. I'm trying to give you I'll give you two three four over, give you two twos if I can. Yeah. Bryce was at like nine seven or whatever. I know it's a big gap in there, but Bryce or Sam Darnold? Sam Darnold. <laughs> got to. <laughs> Sam Darnold. Sammy D. All right. All right. I like it. All right. Let's wrap this one up. Appreciate you. Wrap it up, sure kids. Be sure to uh, five-star review on the podcast. If you haven't already, please, please, please hit me with that. Helps your boys out tremendously. If you're listening on, on the player profiler feed, sometimes we put stuff out just on our feed. So make sure you're following over on the FF Dynasty feed so you don't miss anything. That way, you just, you're getting everything that we're putting out, yeah, not, just, not just some of it. So make sure you make your way over there and subscribe through our channel as well. Uh, if you haven't checked out the YouTube, please subscribe. Watch that. Hit us some likes. Hit us some comments. Click the clack. Click the clack. <laughs> Get uh, it in. Buy dollar holler on the Patreon. Shoot us over there. You got a Discord option. Free, paid. You get drafts. All sorts of good stuff. We're going to be talking prospects. Free show ever, or an extra show every week over there. Going to be doing some roster reviews, but you know, going to have some new tiers coming your way. So... Be on the lookout for that. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you next time. 
Did you say five-star review? Peace. You're yes. going to need that. I did.